Okay, well, I gotta move this. Yeah, there we go. I actually have enough. Oh, look at it. It's so cute. Yeah, I have no idea how to do this. Update. The wallpaper did not come today. Bum, ba, da, da. We're gonna do some decor. Hey! I want to shout out to my friend Dave. He actually completely inspired this wall and this space. So thank you. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, you guys. We're just coming off the back of building this beautiful DIY lounge and also struggling majorly with the lounge cover. <laughs> my sewing skills are a work in progress. We need to get the rest of the space looking just as gorgeous. So we are doing a lounge room makeover today. This space has been through a few different iterations. So when we first moved in, we had it as a dining room, which was really just a dumping ground for stuff because we didn't use the dining room table or chairs. It wasn't a cozy, comfortable spot to sit. And then after we gave the table back to my partner's parents, it was kind of my like office. My chair was a Moroccan poof. And and my table was this. So it was a, kind of like a lot of like ugh, that action going on. Really hard to do in tight overalls. So uh, don't recommend that movement. Now my vision for this space, I'll pop up a mood board for you guys, but it's to kind of really bring in that coziness, pull from some Moroccan and vintage inspiration. My partner likes a lot of color. I like color and I like neutrals. So trying to find a nice balance between that and balancing the vintage style that I tend to gravitate towards with my partner's style as well. Let's kick this makeover off by clearing out this space so that we can see what we're working with. I look into your eyes <laughs> Newton, what are you doing? Hey, <laughs> are you are you gonna come for a ride? Are you? <laughs> it's not a sleeping spot. Oh my god, you're too cute. It's too much. Okay, well I gotta move this. Yeah, there we go. I really wanted to add like a little bit more texture to the walls and so I thought some beadboard would be a cool way to go or like faux beadboard. This is textured so you can see here along there there's like actual texture. The only problem is is it's pre-pasted. I could not find peel and stick beadboard with actual texture to it anywhere. I think maybe I did find one or two, but it was like outrageously expensive and I'm not outrageously rich. So <laughs> I figured I would put down a peel and stick and then pop some of the beadboard over it. But I'm not 100% sure what the best method of adhering the pre-pasted to the peel and stick is going to be. I kind of figured I would do a little test. So I've got some wallpaper paste here. It's a really big pot. <laughs> and then I also have this Gorilla adhesive spray. So I kind of figured I'd try out a little section with both of those, see what happens. We can figure out what the best method is going to be before we pop it on the walls, and then we can go from there. to dry I think we can safely go around and just pop up the rest of the wallpaper we need to figure out how high I want the wallpaper to go and then we can just apply the peel and stick stuff quite a bit to do hopefully I have enough I'm sure I do I do for the wall we're not doing a whole wall we're just gonna do part of it and I don't have a laser level so I think we're just gonna have to hope and improvise just a little bit. In terms of the height from the trim, maybe four foot. Mm -hmm. 
Normally the advice is don't line it up with the wall, but because this is the wallpaper underneath it that won't be seen, I'm just going to line it up with the wall. For the actual beadboard style, I will make sure I get that straight because <laughs> we can't have crooked beadboard, that would look awful. bad news is I don't have enough wallpaper. I actually ordered this back in June, I think. And when I ordered it, I was like, I'll just get two so I can test and see if it's gonna work or not. And then I'll order more, which I obviously forgot. But the good news is I just ordered some more and it will arrive tomorrow. I love that one day delivery. So I think for the moment, we'll just leave this as is. And instead we are going to head down into my basement in my workshop and we're going to build some record display holders. When I was thinking about how I wanted to create the record holders, I decided that I wanted it to be pretty subtle. Really didn't want it to be too bulky. So I actually went and had a look at the trim pieces. This was, I think, a suggestion from my dad. So shout out to you, dad, because that was a good idea. And I found this corner trim, which I think is going to be perfect, coupled with a quarter round dowel. And so it's just going to create a little lip on the front here. So it'll sit kind of like that. And I think that that's going to look really pretty. All right, I think, I think that's a good size. I'm happy with that. Um, obviously it needs a little wood filler, some wood stain, all the fun things, but let's get 10 of these cut out. Or nine now, we need nine more. Let's go. I've got all my little pieces here. I did end up, oop. <laughs> did actually end up cutting 12 of them just in case. So we're now gonna pop on some wood filler in the color walnut, because I'm going to use the same stain that I used on my lounge DIY, which if you guys haven't seen, go check it out. So we're just gonna pop a little bit along the front seam. I decided I want to repaint this door. The sage green is just not working for me, especially in that space with the other green tones that are going on. It's just, it doesn't work. So I'm going with the color Armadillo by Bear, and it's the same color that I'm going to paint along the wall as well. It also means I get to see this color go on before I try and pop it on the walls as well, which makes me happy because it is looking a little lighter than I expected. Yeah, we'll see. It is a new day and we are going to just keep prepping until that wallpaper arrives. At the moment I don't know what time it will arrive but I'm hoping in the next like three to four hours ideally. But in the meantime we're going to prep this. I've got four pieces of this trim. I need to cut and paint them so that they will fit along here. So I need to do a 45 degree angle measure the other piece and then do the same on the other side. Once we've got our measurements perfect then we will paint in the same color as what I did on the door. Hi, baby. Oh, good morning to you too. You beautiful. There's a couple of nails up here that I need to get out and a few holes that definitely need to be spackled. So we're going to do that. Do all of our prep work, you know? One down. For the spackling, I'm just going to use a little bit of this Drydex. Goes on pink, dries white. We love that. There is a life I lead in this city. 
jewelry and to cut my teeth. I can take what I need to get by. It doesn't make it easy. Update. The wallpaper did not come today, so I can't actually finish off that section, which I'm really annoyed about. I sat waiting, I had a notification that it would be delivered in three hours. When that three hours didn't result in a delivery, I checked and for some reason it was returned to the warehouse. So apparently it's being delivered tomorrow. No matter, we're going to move on to painting the top section, which will just be painted white and a fresh white. And then at least that'll be all prepped and ready for when the wallpaper eventually shows up tomorrow. <laughs> if you take anything away from this video, it's plan ahead. Don't be like me, plan ahead. First I'm cutting in and I got one of these like little wheelie things. Uh, I've heard mixed reviews, so we're gonna see if it works. I mean, it's okay, but yeah, it's okay. No, I don't, I don't love it. I'm gonna go and get a brush. It just kind of like, it doesn't go right to the edges and then running it down like in the corner here, it's kind of left like a little line right in the middle. So don't recommend. Cool idea though. It's too late. the second coat. I am pooped. I take this coming off and I'm going to bed. Woohoo! That was a good one. <laughs> See if we can have the same success. Imagine if it's actually not the wallpaper. I haven't opened it yet, so. It's the wallpaper. It's the wallpaper where all good people. Ah. So I think through the magic of editing, we're just gonna. Not the magic of editing you were expecting. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. So I thought I ordered 10 meters of this white peel and stick. Apparently I ordered five or five showed up. I don't really know. And after scouring around, looking to see if any local shops had some white peel and stick, discovering they didn't, I just went, you know what? It's underneath the wallpaper that I actually want to put up. So I'm going to improvise. So I went into my stash of wallpapers and I put up this one and I put up that one, which means that we can actually start putting up the beadboard wallpaper now. In terms of which solution one, well, I think it's clear the wallpaper one isn't here anymore. It's fallen off. So <laughs> that solution did not work, but the adhesive one has stuff on. I think we're gonna try one panel of the adhesive spray first and see if it holds up. Let's cover up this monstrosity, shall we? We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it now. Ooh, I'm a bit nervous. First panel is up and I think I've worked out the best way of doing it and it's to kind of spray down on one side first, get that attached and then spray as you sort of push it forward. I think it's just gonna get like a little bit of a cleaner finish doing it that way. especially in this corner here. I thought, you know, it would be so smart if I just curve it around the corner. Not my smartest moment because it was a little wrinkled, but it's okay because there is actually gonna be a little nightstand there anyway to cover it up. So we're saved, <laughs> but now we need to paint. It's, it's painting time.
Time to add some trim pieces now. I am going to use a nail gun to do that. So if you're wanting to keep it really render friendly, you can also use some command strips. They work really well. I'm doing this because my landlord is okay with us putting holes in the wall, like small holes. So putting a nail is not an issue, but that won't be the same in every apartment. So command, command strips are definitely a good option. My thoughts on the adhesive spray, not the best. It adheres, which is great. However, there's a few bubbles in every single piece. And it's just on the places where there was either not enough adhesive spray or I didn't put any adhesive spray in those spots, or like I missed them. So I know that it's gonna stay in place, which is great. It doesn't have the most flawless look. I'm still experimenting, still learning. I think it still looks really good and with furniture and stuff in front it's really not gonna be very noticeable at all. But just so you guys know, in case you're wanting to try this, I don't know if I would recommend going the adhesive spray route. That's just my suggestion. We're now going to move on to popping up the record display shelf hook things that I built. So I found the center of the wall and now we're just gonna space everything out. These are not far enough apart. Dang it. After special consideration and um, realizing that I space these two close together, I'm gonna drop it down a little bit. So I've put one in the middle here and then space the rest out appropriately. We have a rug, it needs to go down. Did I put my furniture back in place last night thinking, oh yeah, good, we're basically done. Yes, I did. <laughs> I forgot that I needed to put the rug down still. Got this rug actually from Ikea. It's kind of got those vintage vibes to it, but without the insane price tag. So I'm hoping that it looks good. I'm also hoping that my partner likes it because he can be a little more picky <laughs> about rugs and artwork particularly. So let's let's get into it and have a look. Okay, it's like a little more pink than I was expecting. Oh, and I have rug mats downstairs. Oh, I can see you're gonna have fun. Hello. I haven't even got it down yet and you're causing mischief. Good. furniture in place already oh <laughs> I have to move everything that's very soft actually okay Newton are you gonna help me no didn't think so Set up a stage of lights. Say we're done, say it's over. The rug is down, it's in place. Newton's having an absolute ball. It will probably last a week at this point. <laughs> Cats and rugs. Who knew? I think it's about time that we put in some final touches. So I have a little bit of decor that I want to pop down and organize. Newton's gonna have a emotional breakdown over there. Um, and we're gonna do some decor. Hey! Got my little vinyl collection here. To be perfectly honest, I don't actually have 10 that can fill this space. I think I do actually have 10 all together, but some of them are a little bit thicker. They're sort of special edition versions. So they don't actually fit in these little stands. They are small. It's just kind of for a single vinyl. So the ones I'm gonna pop in are just sort of 
your, your basic every day. Just before I pop these up, I do want to shout out to my friend Dave who gave me this for my birthday a few years ago when I was back in Australia in March. I saw this in my parents' collection from when I moved overseas. I kind of just left it there and I was like, you know what? I now know exactly what I want to do in my living room space. So he actually completely inspired this wall and this space all because of this record he gave me a few years ago for my birthday. So a huge shout out to my friend Dave because I am loving Loving the design in here and it wouldn't have happened in this way if you hadn't inspired it. So thank you. Now I don't have 10. I only have probably about six that can fit in here but because there's 10 spaces we're just gonna pop in five of them and just stagger them. I did want to buy more but it's not realistic for me to go to the record store and buy five more today. I want to find them over time and I want each one to kind of be a little bit special you know. Like this one which I found at a market a couple months ago. I think I went, was it last month or the month before? And I found this one and I love the B-52s so you know I, I want that kind of experience with all of them. We're going to put in what we can in time, the whole wall will be covered. You might be wondering, oh, where's your record player? Well, I don't have one in Canada. I do actually have one in Australia. Just don't have one here at the moment. My vinyls deserve to be played, so probably a little Christmas gift for myself. And when I do have it, it will go here. Stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away. Show us where we are. Oh, guys, we're done with this makeover. Done for now. There's a couple things that I will do in the future, like covering these cushions with the same green velvet that's on here. I just didn't have the time to get that into this week's video. We will also be popping up an art wall or a gallery wall over here, but I want to discuss that with my partner because we do have slightly different styles of art. We do like some things the same, but we, it's slightly different. So I want to make sure that whatever I'm putting up on the wall art-wise that he also loves. So we might do that in two weeks time when I do my little office nook makeover which is actually right behind you guys I will be making over that little corner for my office space there's already a couple things in there but we'll be doing some fun DIYs that are office focused as well as reupholstering and refinishing a chair so lots of fun stuff happening so if you're not subscribed subscribed and stay tuned for that this space it's come such a long way from being a dining room before to being a weird little office space that just had a lot of stuff kind of shoved in there. Nothing really functioned well. It wasn't cozy or inviting any way, shape or form. It wasn't a space where we could invite people over or relax. But now, I think it's looking pretty good. And I'm definitely ready to invite people over. I think it's such a cute little space. And with the additional changes in the future that will come as well, I think it's just gonna make it even more amazing and cozy and lovely and better. Thank you so much for joining me today for this week's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite part of the makeover is in the comments below. I know for me, it is definitely this record wall. And I mean, I kind of just love everything, you know? I will see you guys next week with another video. Bye. Are you gonna come and be nice to me? Because you you're biting me before. Are you gonna be nice or are you gonna bite me again? I know you love the makeover too. And you're excited. But we don't need to express our excitement with teeth. Are you trying to climb me? Am I too white? Ooh, hiccups. <laughs>